What's up guys, Boyle96 HD here, I am back with episode 2 of PAX 2 Division 1. We finally did sort out this team and I will go through it really quickly for you. In goals I do have Al Habsi, then I have Gallus, Olsen and Naldo. Some guy I don't know his name and uh, <laughs> Westerman in centre mid as a centre back, he gives the best chemistry. You have Teddy, Benarfa, Sam, and out of it who I know is going to be a big player for this series. And Kevin Groschgortz, I think is that how you pronounce it? Not too sure, but it is decent chemistry, obviously not going to be the best. I never expected it to get fantastic chemistry, as you know yourself, it's a starter back team basically. Uh, it's a pack team even, and they were never going to get 99 chemistry. So I have 61 as we speak there. Westerman, we're going to have to think about him. He gives chemistry at the moment, but I'm not too sure if he will let the team down. Anyway, we went into this first game, and to say I was praying for a starter back team would be... I couldn't even put into words how much I really wanted a starter back team here in this first game. I needed points and I needed results, and thank be to Jesus we came up against the 4-4-2. 46 chemistry bronze team with not one bronze player I know. I'm pretty pleased about that. I just knew this game was going to be easy. It's a bronze team. If I, most of them are easy. But I'm telling you now. You, some people are going to agree with me in the comments. Have you ever come up against a bronze starter back team that's really hard to break down? Or one with one gold in it? I found that uh, in some games. But anyway, we go in here and 19 minutes gone. Arnautovic absolutely runs the bollocks off his defence. Picks it up. And he's not going to miss from there. He's an absolutely fantastic player. I'd really rather him over any... I can't think of any other player I want in the striker role to win me games... Uh, so he's a great player to pull out of the pack. And Arnautovic comes in again here. It's a cheeky little dink and unfortunately hits the post. But it does come back down. And uh, goes great scores which makes that 2-0. Well, the time they score this I kind of knew it was over. Sydney Sam then runs down. Does a little bit of dribbling. Passes the fence with absolute ease. Keeps going. Keeps going. Cuts in a lovely little finesse into the top. Left hand corner. 3-0. 50 minutes gone. So this game was over and done. No doubt about that. And I just... There were more... Go the Goals were just fucking fun to score at this right? and I just kept scoring and scoring and scoring. And Ben Arthur got his name on the score sheet. Uh, only five minutes later, I really, really was happy when he came out of the pack as well. Five star skill or four star weak foot. Uh, left footed on the right hand side. Nothing more you can want. Goldkurtz again, scoring again. Uh, doing really, really well for the team. By the way, if I am pronouncing his name wrong, please do let me know how to pronounce it in the comments below. But he goes down again, he gets a lovely little fucking cross in and a lovely header there uh, by Teddy it is. Yeah, it's Teddy. Nice little run from centre mid there and uh, nice to see him on the score sheet as well. I couldn't believe when he came out of pack. He was, I never would have expected him. He's worth about 8, 9k. But um, Obasi I bring off the bench. Really nice to get in a pack as well. I think he has 4 star skills, 86 pace. So he got his name on the score sheet. 7-0 at this raid. I was pretty pleased. And then Matri tops it off. 8-0. Game set match Matri was a nice player to come on or a nice player to have as well on packs because he's fantastic to start and i got to bring him off the bench he's as good and there you go that's the 8-0 uh, as you can see 613 coins not really make a difference and uh, 3 points on the board so I was absolutely delighted we got our first 3 points on the board and we do go straight into a second game lads and uh, into the division 1 as it is we're against Terminator and he has a <sighs> yeah what are you doing in Division 5, you fucking cunt? He's a whole bunny league team with S. Fine and Royce. I've never fucked a controller so hard against the ground, just shouting every curse word known to man. He's in form Lulic there as well and left back. But we do get a nice start with Arnautovic. Only 16 minutes in, he gets a goal, he puts his 1-0 up. I was like, right, let's hold on to this. I can just, if I go ultra defensive, I may be able to hold on and uh, maybe scrape 1-0. But nope. 30 minutes, 15 minutes later, comes down at Gotte, makes it one all, and I was like, oh, fuck this guy. This guy's just going to show his class. Two minutes later, S. Wine, you absolute cunt, takes it from outside the box about <coughs> 20 yards, and a lovely little finish there. I can't do much about that. <coughs> but I do run up again, and the ball is whipped in, and good old Arnautovic is there. <coughs> Sorry, lads. <coughs> there we go. And uh, Arnautovic does get a goal in the 45th minute, scripting much? I don't know. But I was pretty pleased with that. And you know what he done? He brought on M and E K for Royce. If that isn't a cunt move, I really don't know what is. Do you know he had M and E he had Royce and S Y and he brought on M and E K. And then M and E K helps up setting up and he goes three two up. And at this stage I was like, you know, M and E K is gonna give me the sausage. Don't know what Olsen was doing there. And uh, M and E K does finish it off. That is game. Unfortunately we've lost our first game, but I never really expected to uh win that game. <sighs> 
I don't know, like, I was trying, I thought I could have got a draw out of it, but unfortunately I didn't, and I sent my message calling him mean. But he never replied. I couldn't, actually, I was so pissed off. I can't put into words how pissed off when I seen that. I mean, EK, come on. Because I, I knew it was going to be hard to take Royce and s one by themselves. Especially with fucking Olsen with 50 pace, Gallus with 60 pace. I was like, this is going to be hard. And then he just tops it off and brings on Emanike. But anyway, we go into the third game and the final game of the episode. I was praying for a bronze team after the last game. And we do get a team with an 82 rated striker, Mandzukic. It's a whole bronze team with Mandzukic and some silver dudes. So, you know, the main part where I need bronze is bronze, which is the defence. Uh, Mandzukic is a good player, but... Like for 600 coins, you could pick up players like Darren Ben, so I would have picked up that him, like if it was me. But anyway, he does have this team, and we go down in the 21st minute. Who do you think it is? It is good old Marco Arnautovic or Arnautovic. Makes it 1 0 after 22 minutes. Was happy, I was like, we can chill now for this game. Sam runs down uh, a couple of minutes later, takes it in on his good foot, and an absolute cracking finish into the top corner of the net. There was no chance once again for the keeper. Uh, I felt that we could cruise at this time. We do get a free from 31 yards out. Arnautovic calls it. Arnautovic hits it. And Arnautovic into the net. The keeper kind of helped it in. It was horrible keeping because it wasn't the best free kick. I don't know well to get over the wall. But uh, realistically the keeper hit that into the corner. It should have been an easy save for him. We go down anyway. He gets the ball in. Ball's whipped in. Your man's not going to miss from there. It's good out there. Arnautovic again. He's going for fun at this rate. This title should just be... Or the title of this video should be titled Arnautovic. Anyway, we get a penalty and Ben Arthur goes for the good out Pirlo. He does it with success. And uh, what a cheeky penalty that was. That puts us, what, 4 5 nil. I'm not, I don't even remember. The amount of goals I score per game is absolutely crazy. It's 5-1 as you can see there. Avery Benega, lovely little four-star skills. I brought him on off the bench to grow squirts. Gets a bit lucky there, and uh, what did I just call him? Growth Square? I don't know, but anyway, it was a nice finish by Kevin. We'll call him Kevin, there we go. And then Zogba, yeah, all and off the bench, uses that 90 pace, and look at this, an absolute cracking finish. Oh my god, beautiful. That's KSI's top goal of the week, worthy. But lovely little finish into the bottom right hand corner from Charles and Zogby. Another penalty. This guy is fucking fouling me for fun. Ben Arthur picks it up, goes to the middle left, and uh, that was game. Actually, no, it was game when I scored the first one. But uh, yeah, that was game. 74 minutes in, Ben Arfa scored. It comes in now, he gets a penalty, and I'll save it. So Al Habsi saves my penalty. I was pretty pleased there. I was like, that's nah, consolation. Anyhow, but Romaric gets in, crosses it in, and a good header by, who was it? I think it was Obasi. It was Obasi. Yeah, Obasi gets his header, and that is game, I think, 9-1, possibly. There was a lot of goals in this game. And out of it being the main score. 9-1, it's 6 points out of 9 on the in Division 5 not too bad realistically I know it could have been worse or it could have been better but that one is like a team but on Emanike they can't but anyway we're going to our pack of the episode and this pack we do get Deara so I think it, was, it wasn't the Santa Deara it was yeah the, I'm not sure what his name is it's the West Ham Deara but we did get Rafinha who may be interested and maybe able to slot him into centre back we got Ekpo four stairs skill I don't think he can be used but we got a couple of contracts we got an attribute card, a few kits and whatnot, but we stored everything in the club. And this has been episode 2 of uh, Pax of Division 1. Don't forget to check out Elle's video. I'll leave the link in the first line of the description. So thanks for watching if you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed it, lads, don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can smash 200 likes. Uh, up to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and hope you did enjoy the video. Goodbye.